Well, hello everyone. It's Denise Miller and I'm back in the swing again and I hope that you are too. I am wanting to share with you for the whole month of September a phenomenon that I just learned about last week. I spent the better part of last week researching it and now I'm ready to share it with you. And the term is called the hedonic treadmill sounds a little risque, but it really isn't. Basically, what the hedonic treadmill is, it's a psychological phenomenon that is a measure of our happiness. And we're going to talk a lot about that for the month of September, because we're going to be preparing to go into the third quarter challenge. I know many of you have been with me for the first two the first one was in 2021, and then the second one was last year, October, November, December of 2022. And starting at the beginning of October, we're going to take a three-month challenge, a full 13 weeks to get ourselves ready to hit the ground running for 2024. But before we go there, we need to look at some baseline issues. And I have this question. Do you feel sometimes like you're on a hamster wheel, like you're running to catch up? You're always struggling to get ahead, to get the things that you want, and then you get them. And, and then once you've gotten them, it's like, oh, why did I struggle so hard? It's not a big deal. Well, there's a name for that. And the name for that is the hedonic treadmill. It's actually a psychological phenomenon that was discovered 50 years ago. And what it does is it explains how when we get something that we really wanted, badly wanted, really struggled for, after we've had that thing for a few months, a few weeks, maybe a few years, we go back to our regular level of happiness. And then we're unhappy again. So one of the things that has been discovered is that that happens not only when we get what we want, but also when we have issues that are, are tragic or difficult. We'll be very low for a while, and it takes a little longer to get back to our baseline of happiness, but we eventually do get there. And we find that our base level of happiness is really only 50% genetic. Another small percentage is environmental, and then a, a pretty sizable chunk is actually under our control. So we're going to speak for the rest of the month about the hedonic treadmill, what it is, how we end up on it, what we need to do to get off of it, and how we need to stay off of it. I hope that you will continue to join me and that you will continue also to keep an eye out for the mastermind groups that I'll be starting in October and also to become a part of the third quarter challenge for 2023. It's great to be back with you again. Thank you so much for taking this time to listen to me and I look forward to being with you for the next three weeks of September to talk about the hedonic treadmill. Take care, be well, and I thank you so much. Have a great day and a magnificent week.